Hey, hello everybody. I'm I'm honored to, to be speaking right now to you. And I know that a powerful teacher, when she or he dies, have you ever heard this phrase, becomes her or his admirers? We have David Graeber in each of us. And so I'd like to address in a personal way, uh, the part of you that is David alive in us. So David, you know, if we were talking right now, and we are, uh, what you would often ask is, uh, uh, what are you working on right now, Billy? <laughs> What's your preoccupation? And it's, it's because I usually knew what you were up to because I, of your latest book and just, but you would ask, you would take the time to ask. And I, I would say right now, I'm thinking about revolution. We, we are uh, in a time in our, our effort to defend the earth. We're in a time here in the United States, at least, New York City, at least, where the notion that we would be a part of an earth revolution is simply not entertained by that many people. And I'm not sure why. The gap between being a cultural worker and being somebody who carries the meaning of the earth, the meaning of the sixth extinction, the meaning of living in ecosystems, that in one's body such that, that, that I can cross the border into private, well, they always say private property, you're trespassing. That's the first thing they say to anybody trying to really change society. Uh, the gap between the cultural worker and the revolutionary, I don't remember it ever being as wide. as It's a chasm. And of course, the gap between between you and I and the super powerful people who are making billions of dollars and they are actively, knowingly, in front of all of us, putting these toxins into the atmosphere and the soil and the water such that cities are blowing up, bursting into flames. And, and, and Darren Olivia just... I wonder what you would think you would have something to say about these the situation we're in right now and I feel that uh, we're looking for a way to be revolutionaries to carry meaning in our physically in, in being actual so that we go into that super saturated advertising world, that, that world full of military and financial threats. I mean, it is a, a virtual reality that can only be confronted by our, our, our bodies. And, you know, singing, <laughs> shouting, but being there in, in the bank, in the, within the corporation, interrupting their sight lines, turning their attention towards us. Personally, personally, asking them to think about what they're doing. Well, David, I know that, if, that, that just having you in our lives making a, a school, a, a research center, a place where we can invite other people to, to have the experience with you that we have had. I know that you're with us. I know that you are alive in us. And we're just so grateful to you.
Earth Alluvia.